Hello, Catman Do here. So it's been a few years since I made a video about Cheat Engine with Final Fantasy X. In this video, we're going to modify our items menu. We're just going to plug and play a few numbers, and you can customize your inventory to get the early items and maybe start maxing out your characters. So the first thing you need is going to be Cheat Engine. You just do a Google search, cheat engines, free, download, install software. It's free. So once you get cheat engine and you install it, you open it up. The first thing you want to do is you need to open up the process list. So if you look at the top here, the monitor with the spyglass or the magnifying, you want to open that and you want to look for your PlayStation 2 in here. Once you find a PlayStation 2, you open it up. That's going to transfer all the bytes and data from your game to your actual cheat engine. So when you start up cheat engine for the first time and every time, your value type is going to always be set at 4 bytes. You want to switch that to 2 bytes. That's very important if you're looking to scan your memory to look for items. So if we were to do a scan, we're trying to look for the potion where it's at in our inventory. We type in the value of 97 and these are all the possible values of data for that potion might lie now if you want to do that you can but there's a simpler way you just go to memory viewer i'll bring up this new window and do you want to go to view go down to where it says memory regions now your inventory in final fantasy 10 is pretty static so you want to just scroll up and down here you want to look for 20 million that's the value. So you want to get as close as two zero three zero 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 zero. Once you find that located, you can just double click on it, and it'll bring it to your first uh, address here. I have it was already there for me when I opened it up because I was fiddling around with this. So now you want to look for two zero three one D. Those are the first five numbers. So you just scroll down here. Two zero three one D and we're here. So, how do you know you found it? You're gonna see a field of just a crap ton of zeros. And when you get down to the one D here, onto the left side, you're gonna see double zero and FFs. When you come to this field, this is your inventory field. So all this, this area is your all your inventory. Specifically, if we go back to our game here, what we're going to focus on is when you go to items, this window. This is all we're going to cover in this, this video. So how do you start modifying this? You can click on a field and you can just put in a number. So when you it doesn't matter where you click, it's always going to highlight the first two numbers. So you can do, let's do 50. And then 20 means it's showing visibly in your inventory now that we change that we go to items and it turns into master sphere so what i have here is i've compiled a spreadsheet of all the possible of every item in the game basically that's what it is so we use the value 50 and that's what it gave us is the master sphere so if we want to get wings to discovery right we want to break hp limit you want to do 6c so we'll find that 6c go to our game exit out go back in voila wings to discovery right now i have my inventory bare bones and it'd be easy just to say you just fill in the, uh, you find what item you want you, you put the item in there put 20 and it's done well it is that simple you got to watch out for this little space down here because this if there's zeros it means you have zero of the item so we need to change that value as well so when you're talking about your inventory the first slot is the first double ff so we're going to change this to zero zero two zero and if we go back to our spreadsheet zero zero is a potion so zero zero two zero that means the potion is now in our inventory now we need to set a value, otherwise it's not going to be there. So you go to the last FF, and this is going to be a 20 if there was something there. You don't want to change that yet. 
So we'll put that at zero. It's the next set of bytes there. You want to put how many potions? So we'll do five. Go back to our game. Now we got five potions. So what you can do is you can manually uh, go to your your, your uh, inventory here and ff you can do 02 20 03 20 04 20 05 20 you can do that all day what i'd recommend is like if you if you want to complete inventory just go down on the spreadsheet 0 to 1 f control you want to go to the first set of bytes that would change to the potion right so let me make it bare bones here again. Okay, so now our inventory is bare bones again. You go to the spreadsheet, select zero. Now these 20s, uh, I'm gonna show you exactly what these 20s are. So we're gonna get there. So you go to zero, zero, all the way down to one F, control copy, go to your memory viewer, go to the first set of FF, And then now we're going to control V, paste it. Now it's going to change every single one of these FFs for you. So now we go back to our spreadsheet, go back up to 20, 3F, control C, find out where we left off. So we're 1F right here, control V, go back to our spreadsheet. Find out where we left off, 3F, so it should be 40. Go back to our spreadsheet, 60. So we're looking for 5D, 5E, 5F. Now it has us up to 6F. Now this is where those 20s come in. So you want to go to one, you want to get all the 20s. Find where you started, so 0, 2, 0, 1, going backwards, this is potion. This is where the 20s go. So the same concept, 020D, control V, control V. Now right here, you wanna be careful because we don't have full range on this last column here. So you wanna to go to 6F, which is 0F, control, copy, and we left off. Now 6F, 20, right? Now, well, we have every single item in the game now. They're not going to appear in our inventory unless we give them a value. So we're going to go with 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4. I did in a numerical order, so 1 all the way to 99. So we go to our game, exit out, go back in. So if we look at our potions, so our first value is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, all the way down, right? So we go all the way down. And there you have it. That's how you get every item in the game. Now, just just to give you something to maybe something to look forward to coming back into the next video is I'm trying to figure out how I can get all the Albed primers, how to get the all the crests and all the sigils, because I know some people can't pass that uh, the chocobo hot the the chocobo balloon. They can't dodge twenty lightnings to save their life. They can't play stand playing blitz ball right you gotta play like 50 different games uh what else you, you can't catch the butterflies there's, there's all kinds of stuff that makes getting those sigils like a pain in the butt right so that's what i'm working for so i was editing the video that i just shot about it, modifying your inventory and i had said that i'm working on getting the key items well i was waiting for the video to upload into my editing software i just discovered something and this is just a quick little uh like a teaser if you will of what i found i have found the values for all the outbed primers all the crests and sigils you no longer have the cloudy mirror and the celestial mirror side quest and you also have the summoner soul and the aeon soul so you can customize your aeons right out of the gate but anyway that's in the next video and that is coming soon in my last video i went over how to 
edit all your items, how to add new attributes, new slots in the early game. So if you haven't seen that video, I'd recommend checking it out. It's probably just as good or just as bad as this one. But until the next time, you know, my name is Catman Do. If you have any ideas or suggestions that maybe you want me to kind of delve into in Final Fantasy X, I'd be more than happy to take on that challenge. But until now, we'll see you in the next video.